welcome to Golden Heart Show. Um, we are here today, uh, New Kuchingoro, located in Abuja, Nigeria, to cover an event by um, uh, the Potter's Children Global Foundation. Their project today is to share five books and a pen to each child. If you look at my left, you see a lot of children today um, in school. And our aim is to reach out to all those children, give them each five books and a pen. And also they have lots of activities going on today. As you all know, Golden Heart showcases events that has to do with reaching out to the less privileged. And so we are here. So don't go nowhere. We have a lot of activities coming up. We have a lot of things. Um, if you look at my right, you see a lot of um, the IDPs. They are all gathered at the field there. And um, they have, we have a lot of items to share with them this morning. It's all about reaching out to the less privileged yeah, I'm determined to do so. Hi, my name is Ugaris Mika. I'm a member of the City Foundation. I'm watching Golden Pass Street. I'm Zoe Getanoi. My name is Larry Abela Samuel. Alright, are you interested of the PCG Foundation? Okay, so what, what are we doing here? Thanks. Okay, we are here for our annual five books and a pen project, which holds in indigent schools where we can find indigent children. And this is the third edition we are holding today at IDP Camp New Kuchingoro. Okay. So what was the, what is your aim to do this? What, what okay, the aim of this pro project is to enhance education for the underprivileged children, basically. And whenever we come for this project, we normally show out five books and virus pens to write materials to the children. And also, we also give them lectures on the importance of education. And then, we also give out scholarships to them. After we, because we normally put them through some series of tests. So we give us scholarship, give us sandals, socks. Yeah, there are a lot of kids in our society who do not have access to quality education. Because many a times you go to schools and you see a child without a book. What does a child do without a book in a school? How is the child going to learn without a book? A pen yeah. and a conducive learning environment. Go to schools where there are no libraries, no, no textbooks. What are they going to use to learn? So these are the shortcomings we are trying to address. Apart from the books and everything, we give a lot of items to motivate them to increase their self esteem so they can be proud when they come to school. Yeah, because when they come to school, they see others without and they are in, they are in the class without the uniform. They feel somehow uh, when you give them, you see them, they start coming to school mm, yeah, happy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is great. Is this the only project people have done? Or no, 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 no. We've been, we've been working since 2017. Okay. We've done this. Is, well, these are one of our major projects. Okay. We also have a, a, every child is to be celebrated. We have to feed the child. We have a well, that's where it was gear. Yeah, it was, we were again just just celebrate with less privileged children during on Children's Day. Yeah, okay. But we, we normally have sorts of projects. And apart from these projects, we have a long term project which is the back to school scholarship scheme. Which is aimed at taking kids off the streets and taking them back to school. Okay. You would hope that in a country like Nigeria the government will step up and fulfill these roles, but that's not where you get to. So that's why we're taking it upon ourselves to enhance education. So is there any way you want people to join you? Is there anything you want to say to people, to viewers out there so that they could come join you, you know, to do what you're doing, to push your dream for? Yes, there's a lot to be done by everyone out there. Everyone has a role to play. In, no matter how small, there's a role to play. Today we're providing books, we'll be providing scholarships for the indigenous children. These scholarships are as little as a thousand naira. A thousand naira will go a long way to enhance education for the underprivileged children. A notebook would cost at most 100 naira, and one notebook can change a lot in the lives of indigenous children. And today we are coming here to share a lot of textbooks, notebooks, pencils, and pens. Yes, that's why, for example, if we normally have um, a list of initials one for our project. But one people, but for this project, we have to just come, just come. Because we want them to come and see what people are going through, especially in the IDP. We want them to see how these kids, how these kids are actually living. 
so they can support us when we come out and say we want to do this project for these people. Because in fact, we came here for survey and a lot of people were some people have not done it, but when they see the IDP are like, ah, ah, wow, people, people are living like this. They want people to start donating. So, so, we really want people to, to do more when it comes to giving, when it comes to helping the less privileged. We want people to put more effort. If we all join hands together, we all can achieve a lot as we begin today. We would beckon on you all out there to join us in our future projects. Thank you. Apart from doing it under a foundation, you yourself just go out and help someone. Okay. Thank you so much. It's nice having you. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless your Amen. good work. My name is Zuleika Tudia. Today is the 5 plus 10 month. This is the foundation. It's all about kids, all about education. That's our main focus. Providing them with the necessary food. The age range down to the age of 3 to 16. Sometimes outside these projects, we find a way to help those who are very keen to want to learn, but they don't have the opportunity to kind of an experience of saying that we love learning and she needs to help. She wants to do this, but this one is very smart. And we're able to get a grown up who are able to sponsor her throughout her school. And I say that doesn't help anymore. Standard 
What did I say? Standard living. 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 I am a doctor in my country. Everybody knows me well. If you look me up and down, come me through. I just know. Surrounded by tall mountains, green lands, and clear water, lives a little curious girl named Malala. What's her name?
is the capital of Nigeria? A. D. Abuja. C. Benue. D. Abia. So answer. Let me go to your friend. Okay. Okay, my name is Lieutenant Commander Ibrahim Baba Inna, retired. I'm the chairman of IBI Foundation and also the initiator of the SDG Tours List. Okay. So we are here to uh, help children who are in the IDP camp to get back to school. I'm a, I'm a father, I have kids, and I know the essence and value of education to my kids. So if I can help my kids, I can also help others who don't have the means to go to school. So that's why I am here with some other partners, Girl Space, NG, and at the same time, IBI Foundation, SDG Tours, and other NGOs to come and see how we can put a smile on the kids in this school. We are very passionate about the SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, and we don't want to leave anyone behind. There are 17 goals, and we've been doing a lot around the goals. We are very particular on goal four, quality education. That's why we are here to ensure the children in the IDP camp have good and quality education. I always tell people this, that government can't do it alone. So everybody has to come and put his hands on there to see how things can work out. I give example, there is the power of 1,000 Naira and there's the power of one person. One person can take it upon himself to ensure that his community is clean. One person can ensure that he he puts his child to school. One person can ensure that he doesn't break the traffic rules. So that's what I'm saying, the power of one. 1,000 Naira can go a long way in feeding someone in an IDP camp. 1,000 Naira can feed an orphan somewhere. So at the same time, this is what I'm trying to say, people can come around, individuals, because alone, you can't do much, but as a team, that's why it's called Team T-E-A-M. Together, everybody achieves more. We can do a lot more. So that's why I believe individuals can come around because when they come around, a lot more can be achieved. I run a foundation called um, Girl Space Charity Foundation. I adopted this IDP camp four months ago. My foundation is actually particular about helping young girl children access quality education. I run the foundation for children who are marginalized, children who are uh, not included children who are in rural communities and I always make sure they have inclusive education because a lot of them are they've lost their hope and so I just feel education is only support that they need to get their life back. So I adopted this um, IDP camp four months ago and decided to set up the um, girl space okay. um, center. So here in this in this um, in this LEA, this is their LEA. Okay. Um, we run a Saturday classes for them with over 27 volunteer teachers who come to teach every Saturday on different subjects. And then um, the program happening today is five group and event. I also mobilize um, to bring everybody here um, to the camp. So about 146 children are going to get five book each, wow. one pen each, um, 20 scholarship is going to happen today, wow. uh, 75 sanders, school sanders, 25 bags, and other, other uh, materials, just to help them um, have a, a mind reset, because they, they've given them a name IDP, and so most of them are just living with that name IDP, but we are trying to change their mindset to, to say, you can have a new life, you can have another life, you can live like the normal people, yes. you can be um, integrated into the community, so into the society, so yeah. you don't feel like you are lost all your hope. So that's basically what we're trying to do.
Emmanuel Yakubu, Emmanuel Yakubu, what class are you in? Primary four. Are you happy? Why are you happy? Okay, they came to give you books in your class and you're very happy. Do you have books before? You don't have complete books before. But now that you have exercise book, you're very happy. What do you have to say to the people that came to give you this book? Thank you. Okay, so all of us, what is your name? Emmanuel, what is your name? Yakubu. Okay, so all of you are happy. Yes. What do you have to say to the people that brought this exercise book? You say? Thank you. You say? Thank you. Okay. How are you? Sorry. What's your name? My name is Nancy. Nancy who? Nancy What class are you? Grade four. Grade four. Okay. Are you happy? Yes. Why are you happy? Because you Okay, we came to your school to give you books and pens, and you're very happy, right? What do you have to say to the people that came to your school to give you these books? I'll say to them thank you.
Amen. Amen. 